हेलो एवरीवन दृष्टि आई एस वेलकम यू टू द न्यू सीरीज ऑफ सिंप्लीफाइड टुडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज इम्पॉर्टेंट मिशन ऑफ डिफेंस टेक्नोलॉजी एंड डी आर टी ओ पार्ट वन द डायमेंशन वी आर गोइंग टू कवर आर इंट्रोडक्शन इंटीग्रेटेड गाइडेड मिसाइल डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम और आई जी एम डी पी एंड अदर मिशन सो लेट्स बिगिन विद द इंट्रोडक्शन फर्स्ट The defense industry of India is a strategically important sector in India. India has the third largest annual defense budget behind the USA that is 732 US billion dollars and China 261 US billion dollars. India has a domestic defense industry of which 80% is government owned. The public sector includes DRDO and its 50 labs, four defense shipyards, Five defense PSUs and 41 ordnance factories. Post independence, the Defense Research and Development Organization, or DRDO, was formed in 1958 for the military's research and development under the control of Ministry of Defense. DRDO works under the administrative control of the Ministry of Defense, Government of India. It is working to establish a world class science and technology base for india and provides our defense services decisive edge by equipping them with the internationally competitive systems and solutions several major projects for the development of missiles armaments light combat aircraft radars electronic warfare systems etc are on hand at significant achievements have already been made in several such technologies Now let's discuss about IGMDP that is Integrated Guided Missile Development Program. IGMDP was an Indian Ministry of Defence program for the development of a comprehensive range of missiles from short range to long range. It was the brainchild of renowned scientist Dr APJ Abdul Kalam. It was intended to attain self sufficiency in the field of missile technology. IGMDP was conceived in response to the missile technology control regime that decided to restrict access to any technology that would help India in its missile development program. It included the development of multiple ranges and multiple capability missiles. Missiles developed under it are First is short range surface to surface missile Prithvi It is a road mobile short range ballistic missile that is SRBM with a single stage two engines and liquid fuel propulsion. The Prithvi's development began in 1983 and since then the three Prithvi versions have been put to the test 20 times. Prithvi 1 SS150 army version 150 km range with a payload of 1000 kg. Prithvi 2 or SS250 air force version 350 km range with a payload of 500 kg Prithvi 3 or SS350 Nava 1 version 350 km range with a payload of 1000 kg Dhanush is a variant of ship to ship Prithvi 3 missile which has been developed for the Indian Navy Next is short range low level surface to air missile trishul it has a range of 12 km and is fitted with a 5.5 kg warhead it is designed to be used against low level or ski skimming targets at short range and the system has been developed to defend naval vessels against missiles and also as a short range surface to air missile on land Next is medium range surface to air missile Akash. It has a intercept range of 30 km. It is India's first indigenously produced medium range SAM. It can engage multiple targets from multiple directions and it can be launched from mobile platforms like battle tanks or wheeled trucks. Akash Prime is a variant of Akash and is equipped with indigenous active RF that is radio frequency seeker for improved accuracy which makes sure that the target at which the missile is fired is hit third generation anti tank missile that is nag 
थर्ड जनरेशन फायर एंड फॉरगेट एंटी टैंक गाइडेड मिसाइल टू सपोर्ट बोथ मैकेनाइज इन्फेंट्री एंड एयरबोर्न फोर्सेज ऑफ द इंडियन आर्मी मिनिमम रेंज ऑफ फाइव हंड्रेड मीटर एंड मैक्सिमम रेंज ऑफ फोर किलोमीटर द हेलीना द आर्मी वर्जन एंड ध्रुवस्त्र दैट इज इंडियन एयरफोर्स वर्जन आर हेलीकॉप्टर लॉन्च वर्जन ऑफ थर्ड जनरेशन एंटी टैंक गाइडेड मिसाइल्स दैट इज द नाग मिसाइल सिस्टम नेक्स्ट इज इंटरमीडिएट रेंज सर्फेस टू सर्फेस बैलिस्टिक मिसाइल और अग्नि It was initially conceived as a technology demonstrator project in the form of a re-entry vehicle but was later upgraded to a ballistic missile with different ranges. Agni class of missiles are the mainstay of India's nuclear launch capability which also includes the Prithvi short range ballistic missiles, submarine launched ballistic missiles and fighter aircraft. Ranges of Agni missiles are One Agni one with a range of 700 to 800 km. Agni two with a range more than 2000 km. Agni three range of more than 2500 km. Agni four in this range is more than 3500 km and can fire from a road mobile launcher. And Agni five it is the longest of the Agni series and intercontinental ballistic missile that is ICBM. with a range of over 5000 km next is agni prime or agni p agni p is a two stage canisterized solid propellant missile with dual redundant navigation and guidance system now let's discuss about other missions first is sagarika it is an indian submarine launched ballistic missile or slbm The Sagarika has a maximum range of 700 km and is powered by a two-stage solid propellant motor. It has a reported length of 10.8 m, a body diameter of 0.8 m, and a launch weight of 5500 to 6300 kg. The missile likely depends on inertial navigation for guidance and may possess a radar-based terminal homing system. Next is Shorya Early testing of the Shorya happened on land. It was the land-based version of the Sagarika. The missile underwent its first undersea launch in March 2014 from a submerged barge, also demonstrating an expanded range of 3000 km. The missile was tested again firing at a depressed trajectory from an undersea barge and allegedly to a range of 3500 km. Next is Brahmos missile. It is a medium range supersonic cruise missile developed by DRDO and Russia. Brahmos was named after two major rivers of India and Russia, Brahmaputra and Moskva. This missile can be launched from submarines, ships, aircraft or land. It is notably one of the fastest supersonic cruise missiles in the world. It is capable of attaining a speed of Mach 2.8 A. that is almost 3 times the speed of sound it is the world's fastest anti ship cruise missile currently in operation the land launched and ship launched versions are already in service an air launched variant of brahmos appeared in 2012 and entered service in 2019 a hypersonic version of the missile brahmos 2 is also presently under development with a speed of mach 7 to 8 to boost aerial fast strike capability it was expected to be ready for testing by 2024 next is nirbhay missile it is a long range subsonic cruise missile capable of penetrating deep into enemy territory and accurately striking high value targets The missile is capable of carrying both conventional and nuclear warheads and can be launched from a variety of platforms. The missile is guided by a radio altimeter for height determination and an inertial navigation system developed by Research Center Imarat or RCI. The missile is said to be capable of sea skimming and loitering, which means it can go around a target, perform a series of maneuvers and then re-engage it. It can also pick a target out of a crowd of them and attack it. Lastly, let's discuss about Sindhu Netra. 
The Sindhu Netra satellite developed by DRDO was successfully deployed in space on February 28, 2021. The satellite aims to boost the country's surveillance capabilities to monitor the activities of both military warships and merchant shipping in the Indian Ocean region or IOR. The satellite was launched using the Indian Space Research Organisation's PSLV C51 which took off from the Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sri Harikota in Andhra Pradesh. So that's all for today. Stay tuned for the next episode. We will discuss the part 2 in the next series. Till then stay safe and stay motivated.